What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Capricorn, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general co collective reading for sign of Cap. This can resonate if you have cast any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thome, and Haven, and Jupiter chart. Stuff with the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Cap. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, type in the by the links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Um, love you guys. If you'd like to book a personal reading, the link, uh, description for the readings and all the information you need is in the description box below. Um, you have to text me to book and you do not pay until um, we agree upon a specified appointment time. And I will contact you 15 minutes before. 15 minutes before the specified appointment time um, to make sure everybody's Google Duo is set up. Just a letter by note, okay? Um, love you guys. Spirit messages you have assigned. Okay. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. I did receive one channel message in as I was meditating on your energy, Capricorn. This is number two reading for September 2022 for Sign of Capricorn. Um, I heard... Um, a very manipulative Pisces feminine in your community that I heard you have been infatuated sexually with. She, you're about to be shocked as hell. She's about to get arrested for many series, series of chain events. Whoever that's for. Maybe that's just for one of you guys. It's very specific. Uh, it's a very manipulative Pisces feminine. Um, very attractive. Okay, I heard she's very attractive. She's very attractive and she's a very manipulative Pisces feminine. She got Pisces in her Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Hater, Jupiter charts. I heard you've been uh, sexually infatuated with her. So I feel for some, you could have been sexually connected to her, or you are sexually connected to her, or you just wanted to be sexually connected to her, but you have been very sexually infatuated with her. So like obsessed sexually with her. Um, but I heard she's about to, through many series of train events, she's about to get arrested soon. Um, and it's about to shock the hell out of you. So, obviously, I don't think you are about to betray her or report her or what have you, what have you. I, if you, if that resonates for you, I think it's going to be something else. That's a series of chain events that are about to be created to where she's about to be arrested and jailed. How that resonates and applies to Capricorn. I heard you're about to be shocked as hell. We have Otter and Tarantula. For some, you could be dealing with another Earth sign or a Fire sign. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, or Jupiter charts. Arrow, you were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Cat, a two-faced friend, you lie. Spirit message is your son's Capricorn. A very large donation soon. For one, you're about to receive this large donation. For one, it's about to be somebody else. Business. Okay, I heard a very large donation soon. For one of you guys, Capricorns, you're about to receive this large donation. It sounds like to your business. And for one of you guys, it's going to be somebody else that's about to receive this large donation. It sounds like to their business. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet for either situation, whether it's your business about to get a very large donation or somebody else that you know or connected to or somebody your past possibly about to get this very large donation to their business. You plug it in how it resonates, heavy business owner energy in here, whether you are the business owner or it's somebody you know that is a business owner. You plug in how it resonates, Capricorn. Both readers, both readers. So both of these um, businesses, it sounds like that are about to get uh, donations. They're both readers. So tarot card readers, light, uh, hopefully light side spiritualists. I didn't hear they were, but I did hear readers. So tarot card readers. Um, whether it's you, reader, about to receive a very large donation or somebody you know or somebody in your past about to receive a large donation. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Capricorn. Okay. Otter, 
Number 30 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 30, it could be a possible age of viewers somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 30, Otter. A very sex addicted towards feminine. You are about to find out about a lover, another lover. You are sick and tired of finding out about new lovers. Oh my lord. Whoa, Capricorn. Holy shit. <laughs> Whoa. What is going on in here? This is odd. We're only six minutes in. <clears throat> for one is the Taurus feminine, for one is the Pisces feminine. Oh, my Lord. For one, it's a Taurus fam. For one, it's a Pisces fam. Very sex-addicted Taurus feminine or Pisces fam. They could have Taurus or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hamlet, Jupiter charts. It's a Taurus feminine or a Pisces feminine. However that resonates, that applies in your life. Capricorn, for one of you guys, it could be both of these people, you know. For one, it could be one. It's a Taurus or a Pisces fam. They're very sex-addicted. Um... <laughs> Sex, 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 sex on the brain. And it sounds like they actually physically do it <laughs> with a lot of people. <laughs> um, I heard you're about to find out about another lover, another lover. And I heard you're sick and tired of finding out about other lovers. So I don't know if you've been sexually connected to this person or what have you, what have you. But it sounds like you, you want a piece of that pie. But um, they're giving it to everybody else, it sounds like. Um, and it makes you frustrated. Sexually frustrated is what I'm feeling here. So this is your otter energy, whether it's the Taurus fam or the P Pisces fam. They're all up in, they people all up in their pot, literally. Whoa, Capricorn. Tarantula. A very significant Halloween costume is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. One, it's very sexy. One, it's very scary. For one, it's both. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you plug it in how it resonates, Capricorn. So for one of you guys, a very significant uh, Halloween costume is about to become very significant in your life. For one of you guys, the significant Halloween costume is very sexy. For one, it's very scary. And for one, it's both. That's what I'm talking about. Sexy and scary, baby. Wow. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, yeah, okay. So tarantulas can be scary. So I'm feeling that's the scary aspect. And for one of you guys, I heard it's sexy. One is sexy, one it's scary. And for one, it's sexy and scary. Oh, yeah, just saying. I feel tarantulas can be sexy too. Just saying, just saying. Um, I feel they're very sleek and sexy looking in the spider department. I think they're one of the better looking spiders. Just saying, just saying. That's just my personal opinion, but you plug it in how it resonates. But in this aspect, I feel it's the scariness of the costume. If it is scary, for one, it's going to be sexy. For one, it's going to be scary. For one, it's going to be sexy and scary. It could be a homemade costume, a bought costume, or however that resonates and applies in your life. Capricorn. Damn. And for one, you have a lot of stolen money. A lot. And through many series of chain of events, you're about to be forced to give it up. Legal action. Oh, shit. Whoa. And for one of you guys, you have a lot of stolen money, a lot. And through many series of chain of events, you're about to be forced to give it up. Legal action. So I don't know. I don't know who has stolen money up in this biatch. I have no idea. Only you know if you have stolen money or not, Capricorn. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else's. Well, at least one Capricorn out here has some stolen money. I'll tell you that. Um, and I heard through many series of chain of events, you're about to be forced to give it up to legal, legal action. So there's, it sounds like legal action is about to be filed against you to release this stolen money. If this resonates for you, Capricorn, only you know if you have stolen money, not anybody else. I heard it's a shit ton of it, if that resonates for you.
For one, it's a stolen inheritance. For one, you stole from a coworker in the past. For one, it's a stolen inheritance. And for one of you guys, you stole from a coworker in the past. So the shit ton of stolen money is two aspects here. For one, it's a stolen inheritance of somebody else's. And for one, it was a former coworker of yours and you stole the money. It sounds uh, legal action. It sounds like it's actually going to be legal action about to be filed to make you give up the stolen money. Only you know if you've stolen money from a former coworker or somebody else's inheritance. So you plug it in how it resonates, Caps. Holy shit. Could be a fire sign or an earth sign you stole this uh, stolen money from, whether it's a stolen inheritance or a former co-worker's money. You plug it in how it resonates. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, North Node, and Hammer, Jupiter, Charts, if that is the case for you or any other sign. Oh, my God. Arrow, you are on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. Someone is about to get wind of a tarot card reading channel. They're about to get lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of lots of attention to this channel. It's about to shock the hell out of you. It's not your channel. It is somebody else's. Somebody you watch. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if that message applies for you, it is a tarot reader that you watch. Capricorn, uh, whoever this reader is, I, I'm not sure. There's a million of us readers out in the universe, so I don't know. It could be me, it could be another reader, it could be a plethora of readers, but it is a reader you watch. I feel, I mean, whoever this is for, and obviously, whoever this is for, you obviously watch me, or you're about to watch me if somebody shares my video. So I don't know whoever this reader is, but it's a reader you watch, Capricorn, and I heard somebody is about to get wind of the tar of their tarot card reading channel. Uh, it's not you about to tell somebody about this tarot card reading channel. It's somebody else. Um, but I, I heard, um, it sounds like when somebody else gets wind of this tarot card reading channel, it sounds like they might share their video or videos or share their channel word of mouth or social media. And somehow it's about to make it spread positively for this reader. If this resonates and applies for you. Capricorn. It doesn't sound like you in this aspect is about to share this channel with others. Social media word of mouth. It's going to be somebody else. Uh, I heard it's going to shock you. So it's not you about to share this channel. It's somebody else about to do it. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It could be a fire sign or earth signs channel about to get spread either social media, word of mouth, or both. You plug it in how it resonates. They could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug it in how it resonates. A very significant breakup of a Scorpio masculine and a Virgo feminine is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. A very significant breakup of a Taurus feminine and a Scorpio masculine is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So for one of you guys, you know a Scorpio masculine and a Taurus feminine that could have Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Name, Jupiter charts and Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Name, Jupiter charts. Somehow, the significant breakup between the Scorpio masculine and the Virgo femme is about to become significant in your life, Capricorn. So I feel you could be a family member of theirs, or a friend, or a frenemy of theirs, or a coworker of theirs, or a business associate of theirs, or something of that nature. Community member, ball team member, etc., etc., etc. Somehow, you know the Scorpio masculine and the Virgo feminine. They're about to break up. Somehow, it's about to become significant in your life. I need to go get my sirloin, uh, Angus sirloin patties out of the oven for my kitty cats. I'll be right back. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Arrow, you were on the right path regarding some aspect of your life.
Our vacation plan is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. And a financial plan. A vacation plan and a financial plan is about to become very significant in a Capricorn's life. So you plug it in how it resonates. For one of you guys, it's a vacation plan. One is a um, travel plan. I'm sorry. One is a vacation plan. One is a financial plan. So in this aspect, it's financial plan or vacation plan. You're on the right, uh, at right path regarding some aspect of your life, whether it's the vacation plan or the travel plan. You plug it in, how it resonates, that's beautiful energy. Cat, a two-faced friend. There is about to be a huge public breakup. Virgo Feminine and Scorpio Masculine. It's about to embarrass the hell out of you. You thought they would act more mature. Oh, Lord. For some, it's in your workplace. For some, it's going to be in a social dynamic. Dynamic. Oh, my Lord. So, very. I think it's that same Virgo Masculine. I am at Virgo Fem and Scorpio Masculine. I was pulling in here earlier. I'm pulling them in strong. Huge public social breakup here. I heard they're both very immature. Now, they could be 25, 35, 45, 65, 75, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But they're both mentally immature. Um, and I heard it's about to be a very public immature breakup. So very public for a lot of people to see. It could be on social media. It could be out in 3D world. It could be both. Um, but they're not going to care that people are going to see that they're fighting and screaming and fussing and arguing and what have you, what have you. Um, I heard it's going to embarrass the hell out of you, Capricorn. Um, for one, you work with them. For one, it's a community. It's going to be community-wise. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. It's a Scorpio masculine and a Virgo feminine. They could have Scorpio or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may have a Jupiter charts. I feel they're very two-faced or they've been two-faced to you. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, or they're being two-faced to each other. Um, they're very immature. So. Yikes. A Leo masculine brother is about to betray you in a huge way. He has many times before, and he has no qualms doing it this time. Beware. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Leo masculine brother energy. He could have Leo in his sun, moon, rising, Venus, or within mid or Jupiter charts. Um, I heard he has betrayed you many times in the past, and I heard he's about to do it again, and he has no qualms doing it. So in this aspect, I think this is your Leo masculine brother. He's very uh, sly and sneaky and uh, maybe he's sexy, possibly. I do feel tarantulas are very sexy in the spider world. Um, it doesn't matter if he's sexy or not. But my point is, is he's, he's a huge betrayer, um, huge. He's your brother, biological or foster brother, I'm feeling. And um, he's betrayed you. He's 50 swords you in the back many times in the past. He has no qualms doing it again. He's about to do it again. So you plug it in how it resonates. And I heard he's a Leo masculine brother. So I feel for some, possibly, because Leo's, their birthday is either in July or August. For some, he could have been born in July, possibly, because we have the July card. And I heard he's a Leo masculine. So I feel for some, he, his birthday could be in July, possibly. Um, possibly, because we have July. So you plug it in how it resonates. That is Leo's. Some Leo's are born in July. Just saying, just saying. He could have Leo in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, and Jupiter charts. A Capricorn is about to get a phone call from an investigator regarding evidence of a spell book and spells. Your sister was plotting death on somebody in the past. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Someone you would have never expected has sent this evidence to the police and somebody else is about to as well. Holy shit, Capricorn. Whoa, family energy heavy in here. So for one of you guys, your sister plotted death on somebody in the past. I'll tell you that. One of you guys, your sister plotted death on somebody in the past. 
whoever you are and have that applause. Um, you know, I, you're, you know, the sister applauded death on somebody in the past. If this resonates for you, because I heard you're about to be shocked. You're about to get this phone call from the investigator. Um, so you know, it sounds like you've been covering for this sister, whoever this sister is for, to you. It could be an actual biological sister, a foster sister, or somebody you call a sister. But however that resonates, I heard you're about to get a phone call from an investigator. Heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. A lot of shock energy in here um, about the phone call from the investigator regarding spell books and um, spells that apparently this sister, it sounds like you've been covering for. Um, negative energy, dark arts, spiritless sister, basically, was plotting a death on another person. Uh, but... It is about, it is going to be imperative to tell the truth. If you don't, they're going to know it. Know this. It's going to be imperative to tell the truth. If you don't, they're going to know this, know it. So if this resonates for you, Capricorn, I heard it's going to be imperative to tell, to tell the truth to this investigator. Because basically, if you don't, you're going to perjure yourself. Um, if that resonates for you, um, if you lie, if you lie to an official, just to let you know, that is perjury. Um, and, um, uh, However, that resonates because uh, I heard if you don't tell the truth, they're going to know it. And, you know, those the investigators and pe pe people of that nature, they have training classes to identify nonverbal cues when people lie. And um, and they're trained in that kind of uh, area. And that's just the truth. So heard if you lie, they're going to know it. So it's very important, whoever that's for, that's apparently covering for their sister, whether it's a biological sister or a foster sister or somebody you call a sister, to tell the truth. Because it sounds like if you don't, you're going to become an accomplice to this. So in this aspect, I think it's you wanting to betray. I mean, you wanting to cover up for your sister or you betraying the person that basically your sister wanted to... that plotted to kill somebody um it wouldn't be smart to lie to the investigator in this aspect i think you want to lie and be two-faced to this investigator but i heard it would not be smart so of course you have free will to lie to the investigator but i heard they know they will know so you plug it in how it resonates only you know your story not anybody else purification um in this aspect i feel is um the truth needs to come out to this investigator and it sounds like they're probably going to know shit before they they question you. And I'm just being for real, for real. They definitely will know. Definitely will know is what I heard. They definitely will know. So, yeah. So, you need to be honest here if this resonates for you. Because if you don't, they're going to know. And if you lie and they end up and they connect the dots, they could come back and get your ass for being an accomplice if anybody needs to hear that. Did you lie? A vacation that was taken in July is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. For one July 2022, for one July 2021, for one July 2020. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Heavy vacation energy, if this resonates for you, Capricorn. It sounds like a vacation you have taken or somebody you're connected to has taken. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. For some of you guys, it's a vacation that was taken in July 2022. For one, a vacation that was taken in July of 2021. For one, a vacation that was taken in July 2020. Somehow, the vacation energy is about to come significant. This past is about to come back up. A lot of past coming back up energy in here. Um, whether it was you that took this vacation in 2022, 2021, or 2020, or somebody else. How that resonates. But vacation in July energy. Past vacation in July energy. Whether it was 2022, 2021, or 2020. You plug it in, how it resonates. And a Leo that was born in July, Leo sun sign, is about to become very significant in your life in an indirect way. 
And a Leo that was born in July is about a uh, Leo sun sign that was born in July is about to become very significant in your life in a very indirect way. So indirectly, meaning not um, not directly in your energetic space, I'm feeling. It sounds like somehow behind the scenes, they're about to become very significant in your life. Capricorn. Because uh, I heard indirect way. So not, I don't think you work with this person or communicate with this person or they're around you in the 3D world. Somehow behind the scenes, indirectly, they're about to become very significant in your life. Capricorn. Whoever this Leo is, I heard they're a Leo son and they were born in July. So like I said earlier in the reading, Leo's, Leo sons, they can either be born in July or August. So um, a first deacon Leo, basically, it's a first deacon Leo born in July. So either July, um, July 20, hold on a second. I think it's July 24th to July 31st, but let me look it up, okay? July 23rd to July 31st. So this Leo sun sign that's about to be indirectly a significant part of your life, I feel they, uh, whether it's one Leo sun sign or two or two plus Leo sun signs, they were born either July 23rd to July 31st. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, they could have betrayed you or is about to betray you, or it could be your brother that's a Leo or anybody else that's a Leo sun sign. You plug it in how it resonates because we're pulling in heavy Leo brother energy in here. You plug it in how it resonates. Purification. Child grooming and Stockholm syndrome is about is about to become very significant in a uh, Capricorn's life. When you're about to incorporate this into your work, for one, you're about to speak out on this. For one, you're about to make a report on someone that has been child groomed and st and has Stockholm syndrome. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Heavy child grooming and Stockholm syndrome energy. For one, you're about to incorporate the child grooming and Stockholm Syndrome into your work in some shape, form, or fashion. For one, you're about to speak out publicly on child grooming and Stockholm Syndrome. So that could be in, on social media, 3D world, or both. And for one, you are about to uh, make an official report on someone that has been child groomed and or Stockholm Syndrome. So you plug it in how it resonates. It could be one child or children that was child groomed or Stockholm syndrome or two or two plus. You plug it in. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But heavy child grooming and Stockholm syndrome energy. That's the truth coming out on child grooming and Stockholm syndrome. If that resonates for you, Capricorn. And that could be the you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life as well. For some, I feel your child or children could have been child groomed or Stockholm syndrome. And you're about to speak out on it. Uh, maybe somebody betrayed you. And uh, their child grooming and Stockholm syndrome, your child or somebody you care about's child or children. You plug it in how it resonates with Capricorn. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? Heavy legal issues coming for one Capricorn. And heavy college tuition. Heavy legal issues coming for one Capricorn and for one of you guys, um, some kind of college tuition. So it could be you paying for your own college tuition or somebody else helping pay for your college tuition or um, or something of that nature, all that resonates. Or maybe you get a scholarship for college tuition. 
some kind of college tuition energy and um yeah however that resonates okay all right i love you guys so much i hope this helped and namaste